Okay, I'm just going to show you the differences of SendPepper versus really standard smaller email marketing tools like your Aweber's, your MailChimp, iContact, um, etc. So if you're used to Aweber or MailChimp or iContact or others like that, I'm going to show you the difference. For SendPepper, if you haven't used any email marketing tools, then you don't need to watch this video. This video is just if you are moving from one of the smaller tools to the more advanced, the smarter SendPepper. All right, so let's look at Aweber, etc. They're set up really with four main blocks. You've got your web forms, which gets people into a list, and then you can have multiple lists. And each list has attached to it either the ability to broadcast from that list to send a single message, or to have an autoresponder attached to that list. So that means when you actually have people inside, okay, this is what it looks like. The web form puts people in a list, and so your contact then are basically stuck inside a specific list. You can't then um, move the contact around easily. Um, what you can do um, in a couple of them, especially Aweber, what you can do is daisy chain things together. What I mean by that is you could then say when they've finished a follow-up sequence, you could add them to another list and then off it goes again. And that can keep going if you wanted it to. Um, that's just a bit clunky when you start having lots of lists and lots of people. Okay, I'm showing you what you can do, um, but basically your contact is stuck inside of a list. Now let's look at the difference with SendPepper. So let's move to SendPepper. SendPepper uh, has the four key components of dashboard, contacts, autopilot, and messages, plus the smart forms. And when you log into SendPepper, they're the four those four dashboard contacts, autopilot messages are the tabs that you'll see across the top. Now, for this, um, the contacts is like one big database of contacts so you can manage it all in one place. So it's a single place for you to manage your contacts. Okay, you manage your contacts through, in SendPepper it's called groups. So manage it using groups and tags. So. I'll show you how to do that as part of the SendPepper videos, but just know that it's a lot more flexible and you can, if you wanna change your business around and say, I just want to focus on this type of group in my list, then you can do it very quickly, okay? Whereas with Aweber, you'd have to do all sorts of importing, exporting, manual work, pain in the backside. Really great and really quick to do in SendPepper. The autopilot um, is the area really you're probably used to with the autoresponders but it's a smart version of autoresponders and it allows you to do different types of actions not just emails you can do extra type of actions with autopilot um, which is very clever and the messages tab is a single place for all messages okay so what that means is when you write your messages all your messages will be written in the messages tab and then you'll be able to use them later on in your autopilot okay that allows you to start seeing um, the quality of your messages and the um, open rate, success rate for clicks, etc., um, allows you, if you've written a message once, to reuse it in multiple autopilots as well, um, versus having to rewrite it again and again and again. So that's the the, the different way that SendPepper works. Uh, and so to get something into SendPepper, we'll have the smart form, and the smart form can then allocate people into your contacts database and also into certain autopilots for you. Um, also can apply tags, also um, can add different types of information to their contact record. So lots of powerful things in SendPepper and you'll start to see that as you go forward. But hopefully that overview gives you the understanding of why SendPepper is different compared to the other tools. All right, let's move on to the other videos.